हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर गौतम एंड गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीवन दिस आर टॉपिक कॉन मैन इज टेकिंग बुक यस 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 आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू शेयर माय एक्सपीरियंस रिगार्डिंग दिस बुक द केस टेकिंग आर्ट ऑफ कनेक्शन कम्युनिकेशन एंड कन्वर्जेशन so myself dr banu chandar working as a consultant physician at sahasra homeo clinic hyderabad so today we will uh, discuss about this book what are the things that are present what are the important things is happen in this book or the what are the new aspects are there in this book we are going to discuss after reading and before reading what was the state of us and uh, it was a really t- beautiful gem gem it should be there in everyone's clinic because the language which was uh, written was very easy to understand and it is also most in- important that it is the experience of 33 years of shekhar's experience was kept in words in this book so i strongly recommend this book to be there in everyone's clinic because in this book everything was a practical practical point was there so previous in every book previous books were was there was clinic theoretically there was there but in this it was a very practical things were there so let us know about the gautam also that please share yes. your introduction myself dr gautam practicing at uh, sri amar homeo clinic rajmandri yes very true what you are saying is very true banu um, this book should be there in everyone's shelves because uh, this uh, this is the because our case taking process is the prime thing isn't so correct okay so my question is uh, what is the difference from this book to the previous ones because we have a lot of case taking books right so what is the difference uh, can you uh, quote some differences from other books to this book yeah there are lot of differences are there many new aspects were there the heading was same the case taking in previous books also where case taking was there but theoretically it was there in that whatever the things are mentioned some are practically uh, can be done some are theoretically some are different to difficult to do also in previous books but whatever the things are there in this book are practically proven one like uh, many ad- added points were there because in day to day life we see many new new patients different kinds of patients we will see so in every patient we can't apply the same method yes so there was a fixed patterns are seen in the previous books but in this book there was totally dif- different so what sir says is depending upon the patient we have to be uh translate or transform our body language voice modulation the same way in this case taking there was a chapter called case taking in that chapter sir says prerequisite qualities of the physician about that some of the extra points what we can learn from this thing is we should not be over over prepared that is nothing but unprejudiced we will be prejudiced that this this case i am going to take this is the state of the person in this way here sir suggests that we should not be over prepared we should be humble silent we have to self simple and do not over prepare we have to be get involved in the process we have to sympathetic towards the person who is sitting in front of us 
first of all we have to be a silent with our sharp senses with listening hearing and everything so these are the prerequisite qualities that was very nicely said by the sir in this book and one more thing is he says one quote while hearing you have to away from ear yes very true. interesting no yeah. that means <laughs> that spelling ear e a r here he explains that e means evolution a means analyzing r means reasoning reasoning so previously we were uh, uh, reasoning oh this case is like this so this is a remedy could be by keeping this evolution and analysis in mind we use it to take the case but here sir strongly says that you should keep away this ear then yes, you have to hear that means evolution we should not do evolution analysis and reasoning during the case taking process that was the one thing which we can learn from this book and one more thing is we should be unprejudiced what are the extra point we can learn from this book is during the every case is different True. so each case required the fresh page that means fresh brain uh, that fresh mode has to be there that means there will be a lot many past experiences previous cases previous remedies this has to be not there in our mind when we take the case if you are taking 5 minutes back one case we have to rub that case there only after 5 minutes we have to be unprejudiced it will be done by practice only so we have to focus on complete focus on the patient and how can be focused that is said in this book by keeping our senses actively observing listening or we have to keep that mobile and everything outside or silence first of all <laughs> so in this in many hints are given so it can be done by practice only so can you share any experience of you regarding this book in this chapter of case yeah. taking <clears throat> yeah in this uh, sar has given a quote like uh, sharpen your special senses see yeah. all our senses should be very sharp enough even that even uh, in hanuman organ of medicine he says that the physician sees hears and remarks by his other senses what there is of an altered or unusual character about him keeping mm. silent himself he allows them to say all they have to say and refrain from any interruption it is very true right uh, as soon as a patient comes in uh previously what we used to do is okay this could be pulse tilla this could be so and so this could be nakshamika these were the uh, thoughts would be running into our mind but this is uh, this should be erased okay no two patients are affected. so our senses should be very sharp enough like uh, how he is sitting what's his facial expression what's his behavior even before consultation how he is taking the consultation everything should be a uh, keep in your mind everything will be useful for our prescription we should be keep ourselves silence and we should have a good listening power and our observation should be very accurate and one more thing is uh, we should ask the right question at right point of time and one more thing sar has added is uh, curiosity the purpose of case taking is to know the patient who is in front of you the latter part the remedy part it automatically it automatically falls into that uh, trap since so so we should be curious enough yes. to know the patient who is in front of us rather than knowing the remedy yes right yes. so in order to do that we need to practice this yes yes that's what uh, what we said during case taking in this process 
sir always says that we have to cone down the patient yeah patient that yes. is that means we are coning him to its his patterns his vital force pattern where we can see the form of pqrs uncommon mm -hmm. symptoms characteristic symptoms so this is very interesting right before that we should keep ourselves silence when only we keep silence they can talk or else uh, nothing will go uh, friend of us yes. it is very difficult uh, dr gautam <laughs> we need to rehearse we need to silence. practice <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. In coming to the next chapter, sixth, the language of the art of conversation. And Sarah has quoted some point in this, like, uh, we are not supposed to assume anything. What is this? Mm -hmm. Why we are not supposed to assume? Can you uh, throw a light on this? Yes, yes, yes. It is very true because previously I used to think, a uh, patient might be thinking this one. If patient <laughs> says, one word, next he will say this word. Uh, so he is not saying we are disappointed. We are getting disappointed. Are, why he is not said? Then we are pr making the question that to to say that point. Yeah. To make question in such we a way. We are expecting that, that point. <laughs> what we are we what is in our mind, we are expecting that point from the patient. Yes. Uh. yes. So <laughs> this this was very true that if we are in this mode of case taking, obviously we are failing in our uh, practice. Practice. So we, should we, not assume, uh, we should not assume what patient is thinking, what patient is uh, doing. Because he is a movie writer, he is a movie hero, and he is a, his own screen movie, his script. So it is very clearly said here, sir. So he he makes all the choices. We only observe without inferring and without mm -hmm. interfering. So we have to note as it is what the patient is said. Later, if any doubt is there, we can ask. That's what uh, Honeyman also says. You should not disturb the patient. Patient's flow patient flow. If in case there is a, if the com symptom is not completing, then you have to ask. Until and unless we should not ask. So this is where interesting point were written in this thing. And one more thing, there was a thing called verbal communication and non-verbal communication. Okay. So, can you throw light on this? Yeah. See, uh, patients, not only patients, even any person, they'll express their uh, emotions or uh, whatever it may be, or symptoms, whatever it may be. There are two types of communication, like verbal. That means with the mouth and non-verbal, like gestures or even frowning or even some shrugging. Everything should be considered for our uh, case taking. Should we should uh, we should be very keen enough to observe them, like uh, how he is sitting, uh, his way of conduct, his way of eye contact, and his way of tone, pitch, and no, uh, some patients will speak in a very loud voice, and some patients we cannot hear what they are speaking at all. So everything should be uh, noted. It's all helpful for our description. Uh, so. This should be very, uh, uh, this verbal and non-verbal communication should be considered for our prescription and uh, we should be care enough to know what's happening in front of us. That's what Sarah has given in this. Uh, yeah. Rightly said, Gautam. Uh, especially these things are very important in children cases, pediatric cases, because uh, they are the person who Verbal communication is very less, but non-verbal communications are more. We can observe that. We can hear from the parents what they are saying and what mm. the child is doing. So we can confirm what yes. the things are going. We can synchronize that and we can give. So recently there was a case. Uh, 
in waiting hall uh, child was crying so parents has came and child was crying there so i asked the parents to bring the child so he came so i asked what happened simply i asked they said uh, it, it was very interesting that i simply asked what uh, why he is crying they said that sir i have brought two chocolates for his brother and him so i have not asked him whether to give his brother or not and later i asked him whether to give or not he started crying even though i am asked he started crying so it was that uh, in chamomilla there was a symptom yeah. when offered <laughs> Yeah. the same thing happened the observation the crying and mm. it was irritating thing was for me mm. so this was very interesting the parents are saying and the non verbal thing is happening with the child mm. so this type of artistic skills can be learned from yes. the sir and from when we reading this type of many things are there in this book so further going to further pages so the interesting thing here we have seen hmm. i i said you before only there was a many new aspects were there in this book so one thing was grammar so previously we have to listen we had listen this thing in school days college days in english test book only but in this book there was a case taking and that too in case taking there is a grammar so what is this grammar in case taking okay uh, actually the grammar is most important in our day to day life in order to get connected with the patient or whoever may be isn't it so uh, previously we learned this grammar only in uh, you know, school days but sar has included this grammar in case taking part the most important thing is noun adjective and verb for example uh, patient comes with the diabetes mellitus or whatever the pathology may be this this will be the noun or osteoarthritis and the qualification like fact it is nothing but the adjective in what way this osteoarthritis or modalities is uh, like uh, at what time it is getting aggravated or what time it is getting ameliorated what is the type of pain is it radiating or stitching what type of pain it is it is it so all these are all adjectives given by that uh, noun and the verb the verb is a thing where our case gets proceed proceed further in our case taking process uh, we should concentrate on the verb that is the only action word where the vitality is much more present so sar sar always emphasizes that you need to pick up the verb which is most important in a paragraph okay and sar has given some examples regarding this from uh, uh from mitra medica pura one thing is burning in stomach burning is an adjective stomach is a noun about 3 hours after a meal changing into a dull pressure symptoms of agaricus muscarius this changing is a verb means there is an action okay so in order to know the person as a whole he starts from his noun where everyone the commonality is same we need to know the person who is behind that noun so the patients will speak from i me mine that means i me my and they them those for example if let us assume that if our patient is i and how this i is getting bothered with the you the talk will be like that how this i is being bothered with the you so that i me my to they them those and patient initially that means conscious level they talk about the acquired rights which they are learned from we need to know their inherent traits right? so in order to progress our case taking furtherly and with a, with a great i mean uh, 
good amount of connection in the cases we need to pick up the verbs which are more important in case taking so sar has emphasized it more emphasized regarding this grammar in case taking yes sir correct so if we keep simple simple language means the noun is nothing but the name of the disease right yes arthritis diabetes hypertension thyroid so how this is affecting the affecting part like uh, arthritis like stitching pain pricking pain or dragging pain this is all about the verb so which qualifies that verb is adjective so and the modalities comes there so in this we can keep this noun adjective verb and everything in this understanding the material medica and the patient also right patient yes yes so when we go further in the case or when we go further into the further pages there was one section beginning of the case okay there is a sir said first to 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes mm -hmm. what is the importance of that 10 to 15 minutes yes see uh, as soon as patient enters into the clinic yes the first 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 10 minutes is most important where we can gauge the patient who he is what he want to speak where he is okay so that we uh, is nothing but emptying the vessel the first 15 minutes is most important so that patient can understand that so, okay this doctor is important because this doctor is uh, giving more important to me he want to listen to me okay so uh, by this the first 15 minutes is most important uh, even uh, times uh, what tone he is is he using what way is he speaking what was what is his questions of asking and few patients if you can observe na um uh, in many of the many of the patient will ask us sir have you ever treated this previously what you we used to do is ah uh, yeah we we treat this and we have treated a lot of cases like this we used to answer but sars emphasis is all in is sars emphasis is do not answer the patient rather put the answer to the question what's your opinion in this so that we can understand what he, what he is thinking about that or what he is thinking about this disease so first 15 minutes is most important thing where the aura will get connected okay so that's what sar has speaking about this first 15 minutes is most important in his book okay mm -hmm. there was one thing i forgot to say that in grammar chapter what is the importance is what sir says is for asking any question that okay regarding the grammar what i am saying is sir emphasizes that the importance of grammar is about uh, framing a question so it is very important no if we know the tense whether the patient is speaking in past tense we can frame the question in past tense way if the patient is speaking in future tense so we can frame the question in future tense way so that we can be there at the same level with the patient so that conversation goes further very easily so grammar is important in which tense what are the phrases we are using so that patient can connect to our wording and conversation will be fruitful further yeah you were asking something yeah see in the same chapter uh, sar has uh, given a quote that uh, fir usually with this fir is seen in uh, police stations what is this fir in uh, case taking can you can you give uh, yes example with this 
फर्स्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन रिपोर्ट एफ आई आर तो जनरली वी इन पोलिस स्टेशन वी विल हियर बट हियर वट सर इट इज अ टूल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टूल इट इज यूज ड्यूरिंग द केस टेकिंग प्रोसेस फर्स्ट टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स आफ्टर टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स पेशेंट हेज स्पोक समथिंग अबाउट हिज कंप्लेन we want to ask the questions so then this we can from the fir report that is nothing but whatever we are noting the complaints subjective symptoms or the objective symptoms that all are noted down to ask which one is important we don't know the patient has given many complaint but we don't know which one is important so we will be seeing that fir report we are forming a report this is important this is important this is so among this we can ask question so it guides us whether we are in the right direction or which one is most important problem so this fir report uh, this type of this tool fir tool helps us to short shorten the our time of case taking yes and correct <clears throat> way of case taking can be can also be done by this so this way the fir can be useful yeah even after case taking uh, even what uh, sar is been practicing that means what make he makes us to practice in gurukul also is the same as soon as taking the first part of the case he'll make us to write the fir that means what are the repetition words given by the patient um, either in the synonym words or the same words is been repeated so that we can engage uh, that means we can guess the patient what he is like so this this is the most important thing the the filing of an fir in the cases right one yes, correct yes sir correct so further we go into further chapters there was a chapter called peeping into p formula p formula yeah p formula what is this formula what is this grammar p formula these things all we were seeing here how this p formula helps us okay so uh, the sars gem of case taking is p formula and grammar grammar in case taking he has given a, some tools for us to know the patient who is in front of us so that making the art of conversation very smoothly and to know where we are in the case so he has given eight p formulas like uh, purpose possibilities or probabilities prospect pace persistence pause and peculiarity these are the eight p formula sar has given in his uh, case taking book if you come if you know to the pace <clears throat> if you know uh, for example the first p is purpose the purpose what is the purpose of case taking that means our uh, our purpose should be in aim to know the person who is in front of us that means everything for example what we are asking the question to the patient there should be some purpose okay so the purpose can lead into the further piece for example uh, so the initial practitioner initial practitioner we need to write the question before asking the patient so for every step in the case taking there should be some purpose purpose leads into further piece the further piece like possibilities probabilities yeah can you say about that possibilities and probabilities what are they yes sir probabilities are nothing but possibilities after purpose we have to be have a purposeful questioning this is set our mind has to be in such a way that there should be a purposeful 
quality of time we are spending with the patient that means uh, our mind has to be trained in such a way that the whatever the questions we are asking it has to be have some purpose so when we ask the purposeful question our purpose is to know the area of concern where the patient is focusing on this basis we can go further into possibilities so when we ask first question the patient comes with n number of complaints four to five complaints for example so this becomes the possibilities many possibilities in this possibilities during possibilities sir says that we have to give ample amount of space ample of ample amount of space to the patient so that he can say his, say his complaints all the complaints we should not be hurry hurry and we have to make underline the words whatever the said by the patient so we can note the all the possibilities 1 2 3 4 5 6 we don't know which one is important so we have to so here sir says that we have to possess everything but do not be possess possessive of anything that means patient can say any n number of complaints we should not be prejudiced that it is his uh, bothering complaint it is a complaint which is bothering him we should not be in such way we have to note all the things later on we have to ask the question which one is bothering him the most so that by asking this we can get coning down the patient to out of 5 to 6 complaints to 2 to 3 complaints so for that probabilities after getting to out of that two there will be one complaint which is most affecting one so that brings the prospect of that person that is nothing but the uh, subject of the patient so which is affecting that patient so our aim is to to know the subject the focus of the patient so prospect until the prospect is very important so this first four piece is about sir says in this about clarifying the or knowing the subject of the patient to know that uh, subject or to know the focus of area or area of concern of the patient we have our questioning should be in clarifying way like open ended questions so this is about the purpose possibilities probabilities and prospect which we dealt in this book can you give some idea about this yeah uh, with a purposeful way of questioning probabilities and possibilities will arrive probabilities are nothing but uh, either this or that from that what bothers him could be the subject and this subject is nothing but an anchor of the case because uh, this anchor will lead the patient into further depth from uh, from name level to his sensation level it is nothing but the hot spot of the case mm. so uh, see the the prospect we need to understand very clearly so that the the case goes further clearly without any hassles yes we need to after getting the prospect we need to change the gear we need to ask the question close end questions we should change the gear because again if we are losing the prospect again he will come back to the lower levels so this is what prospect and with this prospect acquired traits are been known rather than inherent traits okay this is what prospect is dealt in this book yes sir yes, yes. we are saying about the purpose possibilities probabilities and prospect but why we are studying we have to also know the importance is that Uh, by knowing the p formula we can 
by this background we can frame the question the framing of question can be formed on this background p formula p like open end questions what are the open end questions what are the closed end questions we can ask so that is the important of p formula and it gives the direction to our case taking process for example for if we see to prepare for this meeting we have for on part of case day this gets our purpose so now we see the possibilities what are possibilities either zoom link instagram or facebook live anywhere we can come to this platform to discuss so we have chosen this uh, so this becomes a probability out of three we are coming to either zoom or instagram so later we are coming to the zoom so now becomes it is a single point where our focus is from here on we will going discuss so this becomes our prospect further so in this way first there is a n number of choices later we are going to uh, minimize that choices and coming to the core issue of that patient further after this what you said rightly said this is a hard hard spot where we have to change the game that means we have to change our pitch tone voice everything we have to be changed speed of asking the question so that is where pace the, the next pace is pace, yes. pace comes so it is very yes. important because patient is going from conscious level to his subconscious level like he is in delusion further he goes into the experience level so that artistic way of adjusting your voice volume speed pitch tone and everything is important and here the, we have to be slow low in our conversation we should not be hurry hurry till now patient has driven us now we have to drive the patient so this this direction how to use this p formula where very correctly rightly said in this book of art of case taking so next p is pause pause persistent persistent sorry after the pace persistent so when we know this is the anchor we should not alter there we should be persistently ask the questions the same intent the same voice if we if we are not persist the case may go in other ways so persistent make a very important role so in this way when we persist so there is a personification of the soul happens here that means deeper experience level is coming on so at this level we should not be hurry hurry we should be silent just it, it should be in the push manner so there is a scientific pause next to p is a scientific pause so when this path is clear then there is a peculiar symptoms peculiar expressions peculiar energy patterns which is a vital force pattern will be coming so this is a beautiful new aspects which were given in this book it is very useful for this p formula you can you can buy this book it is clearly said with a case illustration also what you say gautam yes ma'am uh, the thing is uh, p formulas are more important in the process of case taking see uh, even uh, in gurukul also uh, sir used to say that the pace of the patient in the pace of the doctor should be matched yes. if you are not matching the pace again the patient will be going into his conscious levels okay once we are Correct. once the prospect arrives and again the pace and the uh, persistence should be very important so that the peculiarity will come up correct yes and the other chapter uh, like uh, sar has given w formula 
Can you write on this the W's? So W formula is yeah. It, these are all are the tools like FIR, P formula, W formula, which guides us whether we are in right direction or not in the process of case taking. Whether we are asking the right question at right time and rightly framing the question is also important. So this W formula helps us in right framing of question. So W is nothing but we are we were using these things previously also. Like what is a problem? Where is the problem? Since when is the problem? How does this problem is affecting? Who is the problem? So in this way, we are using this. So what is extra thing, what we can learn in this book is initial phase of the case taking, how we can use this W formulas, Ws, what, when, who, where, since, when, initial phase of the case, how can we use later phase? How can you we use this? Can be very clearly explained in this book. Yes. Okay. Yes, well. So going further, there was a thing called destination. So can you throw light on that? chapter of destination that uh, one question were running in my mind was okay we have learned these all things p formula case taking w we have no what to know about the w's but how can we know that this is a case is complete case okay see uh, once we have started the case uh, we can yes. assume hence that how this person is being affected. Mm -hmm. Like yes. how the external like is affecting this person. Okay. Mm. How the external force is being affected. So what is his perception yes. behind it? Okay, we will be covering his feelings, we'll be covering his sensations, his physical generals, mental generals, yes. and uh, his coping up mechanism. Active reactions, passive reactions, everything will be dealt. So that once we are covering okay. every the patient, and once we are to the core of the experience, that's where we can end up with the case that okay, this case has been done completely. Even in our college days, also we used to do this. We used to do only physical generals and mental generals, but here we're going into depth. Like the how this external stimuli or a, is affecting this person and what is perception behind that? Either in a sensitive yeah. way or in a mineral way or a animal way. Okay, so that comes to the end of the case. That's what. Uh, okay. is being dead destination. Yeah, in this, uh, not only the theoretical part and practical paras were there, there was a six cases were also be there. Yeah. Six cases are there, which are very interesting and and every case, peculiar thing of this book is, the cases, the way they are explained, made us to understand is very interesting because sir emphasizes on right way of asking the question. So in that case, he says us about the whatever the question he is in that case, he asked this question, why he has asked that question? Yes. What made him to ask that question has clearly that under the question only. So where we can learn many things today also in animal case, animal case, way of question is different. 
practical cases, the way of putting question is different. And in plant also, the same question can be put in different ways, different persons. That can be learned from the cases in this book. So it is very interesting. And one more thing to add on this so book, along, uh, actually, under each case, under each paragraph, Sarah has given why he has asked the question. What made him to ask the question? What made him not to ask the correct. question? And what are correct. the things may uh, make stop the And what is he trying to tell? And one more thing Sarah is given in this book is, see, uh, in our cases, in our patients, uh, there are a lot of uh, emotions. Like, when there are a lot of emotions, what to do? Okay. When patient is not going ahead, what to do? When two or more areas are being uh, dealt, what to do? When more dilutions are there, what to do? So he has given clearly the practical part. The real practical yes. part of the case is being dealt in this uh, book, Banu. Book. Yeah. Yes, rightly said, rightly said. Really interesting because if you take this book, it is helpful for everyone, like young students and seasoned practitioners. Everyone, it is very helpful book. Really, every it is a page turner book. Like if you go on reading, it is like getting interest to read this book. Yes. Daily, daily. So there was one chapter. There was conversation in every day. Uh, Can you throw light on that? Yeah. Usually this conversation. See, in order to get connected get communicated we need to have some connection with the person who is in front of us okay in that sar has given a uh, what do you call that he has given a branch or a trunk to weeks in our day to day life what our uh, for I mean grandfather is doing what our father is doing how we need to uh, be uh, how we need to behave with them they doesn't uh, they doesn't want anything See, they want only our uh, some recognition, some respectfulness. So, in every day, in every day-to-day -day life, what is needed for a smooth conversation? Not being, not having hustle bustle in the families. So, he has given some uh, important clues: what, how to be, what to be, what way we need to be. Okay, so that's that's the chapter most interesting uh, thing out of uh, everything out of every chapter. Really, really, because these all uh, looking like uh, applicable for homeopathic practice and everything. But this one chapter conversation in every day, really, it was interesting, very interesting, because this is very important in our lives. If you see every day the conversation with our in our families with our father, with our child, with our mother, or with our friends. This is very important. The conversation to happen, there should be a communication. To have a good communication, there should be a, have a good connection. To have that good connection between the two persons, we have to spend some time. We have to give some time and attention to that person. So that there will be some good connection and conversation will happen. So this is not only in a homeopathic practice. In day-to-day -day life also it is very helpful. So this is a special chapter which we have kept in this book. Because in day-to-day -day life also we converse with the persons. So this habit of conversation, connection, communication we have to develop. We have to cultivate these habits. For that purpose only, sir is going to do this conversation topic in the upcoming Gurkul workshop. In March, after I think in March 17 to 24, there was a workshop. workshop in that yes. workshop, sir used to deal with this uh, conversation in everyday topic only. So there are many activities going to happen. So practically, sir will explain us how, how much important the conversation is, how much important with different activities between the participants, 
and the sir also involving in that and this workshop going to be very very interesting one and learning also as usual what you say yes yes yeah bang uh, in every each workshop sari is going to uh, innovate some new thing where the conversation his ultimate aim is to get a smooth conversation and understand the patient in detail isn't so Correct. in regarding this uh, gurukul the the gem of gurukul is guided case taking okay in this guided case taking one of uh, one of the participant will be a doctor and one of the participant will be a patient and uh, there will be a ca- guided case taking by the master himself in the sense the master will help us he guide us he guide the doctor what question to ask when to ask and what is the purpose of asking each question and as soon as uh, at at some point of time he will stop the case and uh, he will ask the uh, he'll ask the patient and doctor to come out and he will make a fir the same thing what we have discussed it before so that each and every part of the the line which has been taken from the patient he will explain it and the question he will explain it so for this uh, we can understand the way of case taking and one more thing is live case sar himself what exactly what he has done what he is doing in the care, clinic he will take live cases in the gurukul and these live cases will be projected even gct also been projected to the classroom so the thing is we can uh, learn and by the way we can easily learn the art the art of case taking correct yes correct and there is also a other things also happens in at gurukul uh, there is a discussion on the participation case really it was very helpful when i was given my case i came to know that where i am going wrong in case taking process what type of questioning i am asking in what tone we are, i am asking so when i have given the case i have learned many things in this way every participant bring their cases there is a healthy discussion happens between the participants and many learnings happens right gautam yes yes ma'am about the discussion on participation case and yeah, along yeah. with this there was yeah yeah and there was discussion on debate case also uh where the uh, participants are divided into the groups and among the groups everyone is given the same case and every group work out on that case and they give their analysis so some group may be right some group may be wrong so wherever the case is wrong the group which is wrong sir will clarify why they are wrong where is the wrong thing happened what has to be done to get correct how to see that case why your analysis is wrong this is really very healthy learning happens with participation case debate case gct guided case taking so upcoming gurukul i think 19 to 24 were there date is march 17 to 24 so uh every clearly four workshops will be happening uh, this march workshop will be from march 17 to march 23 and okay. this uh, regarding swara gurukul it is located in maharashtra ratnagiri western ghats devur village where the doctors from different parts of the uh, india will gather there and the, the doctors from early twigs to his practitioners will join in the workshops where they uh, there is a mutual sharing and caring is been simultaneously done over the for the gurukul and the day starts from morning 6 am itself the day starts with yoga meditation walk and talk and many more and by the way we can evolve as a person and by the way we can learn the art of case taking at swara gurukul so from 17th to 23rd march 2024 case taking is been done 
where uh, guided case taking sessions are there, live case sessions are there, discussions and attendance difficulties cases were being present, and various exercises are being dealt over there. And those who ever want a book. And in order to register for the coming book, you can note it down. So different parts of India we can available. And it Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. You can order with the given numbers. You can contact them where they can send the copy of this book. Mm. And in order to get the preview, the preview of this book, you can contact the given numbers who are there. They'll send you the PDF. So we were discussing about the participants' uh, lessons. Question. Yes, sir. Zuhu, one, 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 I think, madam. If patient is in the past, if patient is in the, if she is, if she or he is speaking in the past, we need to ask the question, what, what happened? Means in the past tense only you have to ask. If patient is speaking in the future, you need to frame a question in the future tense, so that he can synchronize accordingly. So I could remember. So any questions? Yeah, for example, we can say like this also. This symptom is affecting me more. The patient says, what way this symptom is affecting you the most? We can ask question. Is that affecting me the most? So we have to keep the question in present tense. If take affecting you, what way? If patient says it may lead to cancer, may affect me further. What way it it could affect you? That tense of could it is all about the future tense, because patient is speaking about this symptom lead like this. This disease can form into like this. So our framing of question also should be in the same tense, future tense, present future, like that. So in this way, we can frame our question where the grammar chapter helps us. Yes. Any other questions? So if any questions are there, you can ask. Really, this book is very interesting and I recommend everyone, strongly recommend this book to buy this book. So, this, because many practical hints are there, practical tips are there. We can refer n number of time if we have this book in our self, shelf. So, I hope no questions were there. So, we can... And it was, uh, it was a nice talking. Yes, it was a nice, nice talking with the many topic. sharing. So we connected and communicated, and conversation has happened. A very nice conversation regarding the life, regarding case taking. Yes. And, uh, thank you, thank you, Swara team, Divya madam, to organize such a very wonderful session. Uh, thank you, Dr. Bono. Thank you, Dr. Trivashni, Divya Madam, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gautam. Thank you for Swara Gurukul for giving this opportunity and the, all the participants also. And thank you for Kirashni, ma'am, Divya, ma'am.